like angles and stuff like that. And then I watched a couple Bruno clips to see how he just deals with angles. And ever since then, I've just been utilizing it. Those back-to-back -back threes, I mean, the, you guys have been shooting terrible, but they're like three of 16 and you hit two threes and suddenly everything's a lot smoother. I mean, do you, do you get a sense for that, that it just opens it up for everybody once you start doing that? Oh, uh, yeah, I was pretty much, we just fed off the energy of the crowd. And once I hit the second three, the whole crowd went wild and everybody just locked in from there. They really had a lot of trouble with you guys, what you were able to do defensively. What makes you guys so successful uh, defensively, you think? Uh, pretty much, I believe, because we can like mix it up on defense. We can either go big or small. Especially with our small lineup, that means we push the tempo, and then they have to, their big has to guard a guard. So it just gives us an advantage. You guys seem to always score, it seems like, off every fast break, off a turnover. Is that like an emphasis to make sure you get uh, a bucket on the break before the defense was set? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, emphasis is just our transition game because Coach Jordan told us that's the most productive scoring option for us. So we've just been working on that ever since in practice. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Considering the relative inexperience on the front court beside yourself, I mean, is that in your in your head that you have to be kind of the leader of, of that group, of that unit? Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, every time I go out, I'm pretty much the leader of the bigs, and just trying to take on the role that Bruno had with me, and just trying to drop as much knowledge on the other bigs as he did for me. What do you see from Dante as he kind of progresses into maybe more of a, a starter, starting role? Uh, Dante, he's pretty much Dante. He's just an animal. He's always doing what the coach says. He's always attacking the rebounds. He's always helping out. And even though he has some of the, he may have like, he's down in the matchup sometimes, he's always playing hard no matter what. You're sort of a no-nonsense guy. But you had some flair on the dunk. Talk about that for a second. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I just, I ain't have a dunk that game, so I decided, hey, why not just get this one real quick and just get the, cr the crowd hyped up. He only hit two big threes in the first half to yeah. help his team stay in the game. Um, what, how much have you been? How much work have you been putting into your three-point shot? And how much different can this offense be when you're like, able to spread the floor like that for them? Uh, I've been putting a lot of work in. Uh, Coach Turgeon after every practice, he doesn't let me lead the gym until I make 50 threes in different spots and, and different uh, movements. And ever since then, that's just been helping me out a lot, just finding my stroke and finding my touch. Does the third one feel as good as the first two? I did, but uh, it just hit the wrong side of the rim, so. Oh, well. in, in, term, in terms of the way you, you played today, uh, it just seemed like as the game got on, you went on, you got more, you know, just, just more aggressive, more uh, forceful inside. Is that is that the mental part of the game for you, or is it is it just sort of as you you know as you get on as you play you get more comfortable and know what you have to do? Uh, I believe it's the mental part. Uh, starting now, I only had like one or two rebounds in the first half, and Coach Sturgeon told me he needs me to be more of an inside presence for us to um, do good. So I just tried to grab every rebound after that, I and mean, that just led to me playing defense and blocking shots and altering shots in the paint. What's it like practicing against shoulder? I mean, it's fun, but um, pretty much every shot that goes up, he's he blocking it. Even if it's a goaltend, sometimes he's still blocking it. So it just allows me to work against a big that's taller than me and be able to re be ready for other bigs like that.